Good day, one and all, and welcome to the pinnacle of high school esports. It's Play Versus. It is the Spring High School Championships, and we are talking NBA 2K24. Ken Carmen Kendo Slice here alongside Orbital. We're going to the state of Alabama, my friend. The best that high school has to offer for the Alabama High School Athletics Association. This one's official. It is going to be a good time, and I'm very excited to see what they can throw down because we got Bob Jones High School mm -hmm. against Russell County High School. The best of each one going to go ahead and throw down. It is solos, so that's going to be the yes. interesting point as well. It's not 5v5 that we see currently in some of the main bracket runs and especially in the pro scenes, so it's going to be a little bit different there, but very excited either way. Yeah, uh, of course, you want to run down the line here, Chad Jackson representing Bob Jones High School. And uh, Russell County High was kind of a tandem throughout the season. Tyron Upshaw and Trey Gray both getting involved for their team. But it, we're talking about something that takes a lot of time. High school esports, uh, multiple weeks of league play, Orbital, going into mm. playoffs, and then this, the pinnacle, the final, live on the NBA 2K channel. That gives me the chills just thinking about it. <laughs> and we're excited to be here because it's amazing to see high school athletic esports programs being pushed to the forefront. Mm -hmm. I think it's very interesting to see and especially uh, promoting this competitive nature. It's very fun to see for the rest of the players as well and the players themselves get a little bit of screen time, which I think is also important for how long they have played here and also try to show their best. I'm, exce I'm excited to see what teams they throw down with as of course these are not customs or anything of the sort. They'll be running their own uh, one of the main teams out there and we'll see what they can do. Yeah, that's going to be very exciting, but y you mentioned all that and I want to give credit where credit is due because while the players have done an amazing job to get where they are this high and vaunted position that's the administrators the teachers the coaches behind them and i want to say a big shout out to aubrey white from bob jones high school as well as eric chamberlain from russell county high representing their team and their students extremely well i gotta also say we're we're here we have a giveaway that we want to talk about, and if you want to enter that giveaway, the hashtag AHSAA, that's the abbreviation for the Alabama High School Athletic Association, if you want to type that in, hashtag AHSAA, and you get yourself a chance to win an NBA 2K24 Black Mamba Edition cut. You know what? I need to type that in. I'm not eligible? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh. But, uh, oh, oh well. But one of y'all has a chance to win it here tonight. And uh, type that code in to make sure you give yourself the highest possible chance. Uh, do it right now. Don't wait on me. <laughs> go ahead. We'll give you a few moments as the players do go ahead and set up. Now, do keep in mind this is a best of three not a best of five or anything like that and the players themselves have also been challenging themselves throughout this entire playoff bracket they had i think a, uh, i believe a round of 16 earlier on and then they played all the way up here to the grand finals they also played the semifinals i think earlier on in the day either that or it's just been a very close match up here today and that's what i'm very excited about to see five minute quarters each gonna be running through it pretty quickly but we'll see how many points they can rack up because i think that's always the fun part and that's the thing it's usually especially at the this level the high school level rapid fire run and gun both you and i were from the midwest we love a little bit of that big 12 basketball i'm thinking vintage big 12 basketball <laughs> where it is fast breaks all day all the time and we'll see who is able to uh, outspeed the other team but i also do expect a little bit of those set offenses once they get deep into the offensive zone Oh, man. And also playing outside as well will be a big part and adjusting to their own formations. That's the big part. After a while, I always say, especially when it comes down to these games where, you know, the stats are kind of set and everything like that. Mm -hmm. It comes down to the players to start reading exactly what wants to be played in combination with the team that they pick. Understanding how the op opposing player likes to play, if they like to play offensive, if they like to play inside, if they like to play outside, you have to adjust your strategy accordingly. Or you can just say, I don't care, and send it. That's another option as well. I would not <laughs> recommend that, oh. but you can. If you think you just outskill your opponent that way. But when it comes to NBA 2K, you really do have to play with a little bit of strategy in mind.
Uh, very much so, and I think that is going to be shown here by both members of their individual schools. They're going to have to show us their very best, their adaptability, because as you said, with picking teams, there are set stats. Somebody might get a Stephen Curry, and you know that they're going to go to the pick and roll. It's going to be up to the defense to try to stop that, and how does the offense adjust? at that point those will be the storylines that we're looking to cover today throughout and again it's a best of three so if you win two you are the state champion for alabama <laughs> that is again i say it it gives me the chills orbital just thinking about it like you can tell i'm of the ripe old age if i would have had the opportunity to ball on my system for a state championship uh, bring it on like I, I this is a huge opportunity is what i'm trying to say and i i get the feeling these teams are very avidly waiting to get in on that action. Mm -hmm. And right now we have heard that they are going to the team selection mode mm -hmm. right now. And I, I, and that to me is a big part because I do believe they can swap in between if they so wish mm -hmm. from game to game if they want to. But understanding exactly where they want to field their players is also a big part of it. You go, hey, we want to go ahead and lay down these five. Obviously, the five starters are usually where you want to go with. But how you want to trade things out, there are minor adjustments that you can also throw down depending on the bench roster and everything of that sort. So I wonder if we are going to see high changes. Now, of course, when it comes to NBA 2K, you don't usually see those adjustments. I'll be quite honest. Mm -hmm. Normally, no. you don't see like a massive team shift. Uh, the stats do matter, of course, but most players feel very comfortable with their set that they get to start with, of course, throughout. So that's what I want to kind of watch for at the current time, though. Uh, this is going to be a big, big difference in, in this first game to me, and especially in the first, I would say, first two quarters, the first half, will be very important to set the tone for the rest of the series. Yeah, very much so. And speaking of which, I, I believe we already have some winners for that first giveaway that we have done. Uh, the winners of our NBA 2K24 Black Mamba Edition codes. I'm looking at B-Law 47. I'm looking at Young Zorix. It, both of you, make sure that you are checking for your whispers. The NBA 2K Twitch account will be reaching out to you to make sure that you are set with the Black Mamba edition. It doesn't get any better than that. And man, I miss 24. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is a, it's a great time. And now I do believe there might be some more giveaways throughout. So make sure to stick around and ensure that you get your chance if you didn't win here. Of course, we'll also have yes. some awesome gameplay in between. That's the best part as well. And hopefully they get underway with that match soon. Because for me, I want to see what they can mm -hmm. throw down. I know the players also don't want to ice themselves either. And when it comes to this, normally, as we talked about before, it's a 5v5 or anything like that. Yeah. But in 1v1 scenarios, to me, it's a very uh, tricky situation because you can't really talk to anyone. You don't get to play that stylistic of, hey, I'm a point guard. I can go ahead, mm -hmm. shift up, and I can try and help out the rest. No, you are literally controlling every aspect of the game from here on out, not only on offense, but also on defense. So I'm curious how the player is able to encompass every aspect there obviously mm -hmm. we'll see some strengths one way or another but i hope to be able to see those strengths played to a maximum is so and not the weaknesses overshadowing that okay it looks like we do have team picks and it looks like russell Ooh. county high picking the oklahoma city thunder and we have an la team coming in for bob jones whether or not that's the clippers or lakers we'll find out in a second depending upon how emboldened the screen gets with the colors yep there we go it is the clippers as well we so are. that'll be that'll be that'll be a fun time to say the least and that'll be as we said russell county picking up the thunder and uh bob jones going for the clippers and and to start off they're not I would say thrilling. Of course, they're not, you know, the crazy ones that we see, but it might be very, very comfortable. Uh, I think the Thunder, for me, are, are kind of fun to watch for. I got a couple of buddies mm -hmm. that enjoy watching the Thunder, so, you know, uh, I'm I'm happy to see them here. Yeah, and for Oklahoma City, it's it's one of those squads that's it's built to be a team. <laughs> NBA, a lot of the times, they can rest their laurels on star power. 
Oklahoma City Thunder, not so much. They come in with a, a much more team mentality. So I expect to see maybe some defense being played very well and very early by Russell County High. I would hope so. And and granted, for that factor, we are getting underway with tip-off, and we'll see how it throws down once again. It is going to be a uh, Russell County coming out here. We'll see if they can oh make it work and immediately off the rip a dunk, send it on home. I mean, you also see play in the aspect of offense. Uh, getting passes in early and often, and we are at uh, I was double checking there. We, we, we may have had a, an issue right off the bat. In fact, we might have an issue right off the bat. And of course, uh, things like that do happen, whether it be technical issues, etc. Batteries might be going bad. Uh, one cord may be misconnected. It very easily happens. At the same time, this could also be just a simple uh, player swap or anything like that. Uh, service is, of course, uh, the one that made that pause start. So we'll see We'll see what it is. Uh, this will be very interesting, of course. That timeout has run out for one. Remember, each player does only have a few select number of pauses. So this is a part of the in-game value. It'll be something to really watch for and try and keep track of. So for me, it's, you know, is this going to be an all-important factor? But to open up so far with a quick dunk does mean, I think, that Russell have a little bit of an advantage. You know, the quick, important start to this match means that they're on top of it. They say, hey, we got the start. You can see how kind of slow the Clippers were running back. So Bob Jones' squad needs to kind of keep that one in check uh, and make sure they're good to go. And yeah, very much so. As we uh... Wait this one out. I The thing that excites me, like you have to go back to my olden days. Back when I was uh, <laughs> playing ball, weighed 40 to 50 pounds less than I do right now in, in my senior day. Mm. I, I always, I'll always remember uh, the, the, the <laughs> amount of pressure, but also the joy when I got my first double-double, I was always a, a fan of Dennis Rodman. Not for the eccentric hair, but the, the fact that he, he knew how to track the ball oh so well. And, and again, it, I go back to the thought process of adjustments on the fly, being able to uh, see the game ahead at times, being able to be unpredictable to where you, you keep your opponent off guard. It really does go a long way. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's... It's a fun thing to think about. I also just do want to update us right now. We do actually have a player coming in that is going to be a difference maker. So hate Tyrone is currently stepping out or Tyron and, and now stepping in is their bench player for Russell County. It is going to be a uh, sip baby MJ, I believe. And they're coming in here to try and play it out <laughs> against service. So this is uh, a little bit of an interesting factor. I, I think, and I, I, I do want to double check that because I don't believe Bob Jones, who uh, they're the squad that actually called the timeout, they don't actually have any timeouts of uh, any other bench member listed. So I'm guessing this is the side of Russell County. Okay. Okay. We, we are underway. I'm okay with that. We will see. How <laughs> we will see right? That's the best way to put it. <laughs> right off the oh. bat, they, they, they go with the initial shot in with Harden. Oh. And, uh, it didn't bode okay. well for them. Nope, not at all. And now we can automatically see this kind of a switch up of the stylizations. The Thunder going to go ahead and try and lock this down. A little bit of the uh, more uh, more in-your-face style, which I can not agree with. So uh, mm -hmm. it was... Ah, okay, I, I do apologize. It, it was a, it was an in... Um, it was an in-game roster swap. Man, my brain does not want to work today. I do apologize for that one. I was like, why Why is a player swap going on? No, no, no. It's just uh, swapping up the uh, roster down on the court. Okay. Shot number two is going to be a pick and roll that will hard off the rim. Nervous. Looking to get the fast break. Chooses to pass and go for the three ball. I think we're starting to see maybe a little bit of a pattern, a jump shot over the dunk. Mm -hmm. Keep it smart. Keep it safe. Trying to get inside if possible, but... Staying on the outside, one second left, going to go ahead, dropping it right nice and in. The Clippers go ahead, throw up two. We'll be watching to see how they develop the offensive oh, game. Quick shot, no one there. in, 
and they gave that one a three. It, it, maybe my eyes deceived me. That was close. It was, it was slightly, I would say, because honestly, right now, Russell County is throwing down with the best of them, and not only that, a little bit of uh -huh. rebound gathered up. OKC okay, going to try and run it in. It's going to be a little spin <laughs> off to the side. Easy two once again. I almost want to do my uh, in my own little dick my towel. That's awesome, baby. <laughs> you got the little dip to do in the room. We're continuing onwards right now. It's getting a little bit out of control as well because of those quick points. So a nice calm setting. Hey, let's go ahead and slow things down as best we can. And all of a sudden, nope. Going to go ahead and get that seal, a little bit of a grab, and now going to wait at the top of the rim. Oh. Is it going to go? No, a quick one of back. Denial tools on both ends. That's an open run, but missed it. 32% covered. Feels bad, man. Really well done to get the cover, but also the, the seal that led to the fast break. Good hands. We were able to maintain. I have noticed a lot of switching to that center position, so they, they're looking to zone out the middle of the court not allow mm. buckets and they're gonna pay for it with it for the uh no. Difficult to be had, of course, because, listen, you don't want to get fouled out. Now, granted, in a 5v5 state, the player themselves would obviously get it, but right now it's more just, hey, you know, one of your players might step out. However, this is extra points that you could go ahead and rack up if you can. For Bob Jones, you go ahead, hopefully have a nice one. Easy does it. Unlike me in real life, these players can go ahead and score on the free throws pretty nicely. So you go ahead, swap out another member. It looks like we got a substitution. I think that is Westbrook to come in here. Absolutely. Good old Rusty, he, he is in and he is uh, ready to make things happen. Uh, of course, the, the irony in this, you have Russ, you have James, but they're not on OKC like the uh, glory years back in the day, both on the same team uh, in LA. Uh, quite an interesting dynamic, if you ask me. <laughs> the dynamics have to be played with. Of course, at the same time, you can see a little bit of jostling for control here. As Tyrone cool. Tyron is trying their best, goes ahead, gets inside, dumps it back on the outside, top, not really going to work, you go ahead, hang on as best you can, a little bit of a jump creates a little bit of space, and with a wide open rim, you go ahead, a lay two up. I like the patience, I like the play fake in order to create that space, it almost eked out the defense, made them look towards a potential double team with five, four, oh. and three to go, here comes a three, and it will be West with a, a little bit of a fire starter to steal and this could be an extremely quick change over the tight oh. game i mean that had to be denied a foul thrown down here for good reason that grab was pivotal and remember for the clippers side it's been a little bit of a song and dance that's what we kind of been watching you know a little bit of an early start for the okc squad and it was just Oh man, things are looking dicey. Now we're almost looking at a tied game. You go ahead, grab this next. You put it at 11 apiece. And this first quarter, feeling pretty okay for the current scenario. I would agree with you. It, it started out a little shaky, but it, it runs the same way that you'd expect in the NBA. And there are times you see a plus 20 super line, and it can evaporate just that quickly. It's in the and that is another oh, foul man. in the mid. I love the shaking right there. <laughs> Got to make sure it gets a little bit spicy. Got to get that spice underway. But it is going to be a two, and that's going to be nice to have right now. Okay, see, up for two. Now you get to try and slow things down with a minute 15 on the clock. There's more mm -hmm. than enough time to create space. Release on top. All green. Easy bucket. That was a tough mid the double team out so very easily right why Leonard with a James Hart with a Russell Westbrook you leave any of those open and chances are that's buckets and it feels so good as well Tyron set things up for a nice <laughs> little chase of course that's just right inside dunk it on in this is feeling good right now for service Go ahead, keep things close. Yeah, let's see uh, the OKC side slowing things down just a little Ooh. bit more. But if, if you got it, want it, another three ball goes down. It doesn't matter that it's five minute quarters. We're, we're seeing a, a pretty realistic score line with buckets all around. 
Ah, uh, you cursed it right there. You cursed it right there, Kendo. Try to jump it up, dip to the inside, slam it on down if you can. Well done there. 20 for OKC. Really, this is not going to be the last possession, although they could slow it down and sneak it out through that cross court pass. And be played forward. The roll and able to get everything but the net. That wow. always hurts. Another dunk to throw down here. And this is feeling good. Tyrone going ahead and making a statement known. Right now, a six point lead. No double digits. All green once again, though, as this is a fight back service. Trying to hold on, keep it single digit difference. Quick release, though, as the, as the quarter is done. You know, you try to make it happen. Still lead. Not as large as you would like. Four point game. Not quite. Uh, we got exactly what we expected. It was non-stop action between these two players in the first quarter. It, while we could see a few defensive adjustments, uh, uh, noticing the standard for the OKC side and Russell County High, they really like to float their center up for the double, especially around the pick and roll, and that is exactly what was doing out of it. Bob Jones high with a pick and roll being utilized quite often. Granted, they are stacked for it, and there's another shot down, making it rain. Oh, man. Right now, it is all on the flow. Can you keep up this pace? Of course, it is bucket straight back and forth. This time, an easy drop in. You see there, Williams going ahead, dropping 11 on their own, and you can see who they favor, but a long three. And it's just more and more looking like a one point and then some. Both teams hitting as hard as they can inside this point, scoring a little bit of hold. Looks like a dump out to the outside once again, playing the perimeter, and you missed just slightly early. Hard to uh, play defense when they're not allowing that defense to set, and we just see a cat and mouse game back and forth. Another three. I'm going to be just off with the rebound. Offensive rebounds may come into play. It's definitely going to be a stat that we watch throughout Orbital. Mm-hmm. It's one that we really got to keep our Whoa. eyes on. This is another slam down. Forcing the way inside of the paint. Easy a drop in there, and he keeps it at three. Right now, it is going to be Tyrone to just be like, yo, give me a chance, and I will run away with it every time. Underneath the basket, though, a quick fake, and you go ahead and score. Right now, we're trading twos a pack and fourth. Harden with eight total. That must be a little late on some of that defense. So mm -hmm. No foul on the field. The and one would have been devastating if I can stop. Now they're going to need to try to stonewall this defense. Uh, somebody has to give. Uh, who will it be? Perhaps Russell County High defense. The wounds put on lock the two switch back over to the oh. center and it's just running through. Very nice slip under the net as well. This has been big right there oh. and a steal out. Such a good call from service. Now you got to break through if you can. You want to make use of this, and you're going to call for a little bit of help, but you didn't really get it as quick as you want, so you release with a little bit of coverage, but it's perfectly done. Excellent release, and a score bound is for the first time we are seeing service with the lead. A very impressive run that we have seen so far. It will be a pass off for another three, but that is another difficult rim to handle. And at this point, it, something needs to break as far as the ice in and around the basket. Oh my, another very close to another. Yeah. <laughs> both both players are kind of jockeying for position right now, and that's going to be released on that corner. It's so good. It's so good to see. But honestly, they're fighting tooth and nail for each of these points, and it's just it's going to break at some point. I love the fact that you pointed out that being these trades all the time is going to cause some problems. Both teams do need to get their defense kind of under control. So we're going to see a little bit of an unfortunate steal moment. This is going to be the chance. Service dunks it down. Keeps it at a three-point. A little bit of show time. I'm not going to the wrong team, though. <laughs> uh, well, doesn't matter. LA is LA at this point. And we have another three ball. It will be in and out. As we see even more rushed opportunities, gonna get the pass out. 
plenty of lane to work with and through the defense oh. they will go get the offensive rebound slow things now I mean, you slow it down as much as you can with six seconds left. You try a spin, try and break in. Not going to work too much coverage. You grab the ball again, and this time you put it in. It took about 20 seconds, and time wasted is time good for LAC. And now a charge forward, though, a slam down. As we are seeing Hate Tyrone really put on the pressure every time to get the ball. It's a quick bucket and quick back on defense to try and make up this difference. Extremely impressive to see so far, and those offensive rebounds are starting to add up. You can see a sense of desperation in a way as we get a reach in foul. It definitely want to keep the aggression, especially right now towards the end of the first half. But oh, can that get away from you? You know, there's a reason that we never really sit too pretty on those thrones of only three you want to see those double digits as soon as possible and neither player has really set themselves up for it service going to launch it from the top and it works perfectly so right now six point lead and these three pointers have been big oh, oh. once again a quick run and gun solidifies another two small but it is buckets either way okay there desperately needs to be a stop the pick and roll has been devastating against Okay, see another wow. one trained, and it's a seven-point lead. At this point, it's actually a little bit of a problem to even leave the perimeter open. And these two pointers, yes, you're getting them, but it doesn't feel as strong as these three. Service has been so good on the outside that it's been a problem. Now a quick drop to the other side, and look at that. Perfectly done. This has to be fixed by Hate Tyrone. You have to find some sort of defensive end. You're going to try and play outside your own. Oh. You, you miss cover too easily. And now a foul comes down. Go for the reach in on the drop. Uh, I, it, it, it's, it's a feels bad moment, if you ask me. Uh, and I realize uh, a lot of the times these teams, it's man to man. It's like, you don't do that. But at what point do you think to yourself, maybe I should try to break out a little 3 2 zone? Uh, maybe I should uh, guard that perimeter much more staunchly because at this point, it's free real estate to the tune of 10 point advantage. Nine seconds to go, gets the pass down. We'll be able to get the lay in, but. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me if there's more points on the horizon with only six to go. Mm -hmm. And playing on the inside has been working well for OKC and, of course, for Tyrone. It, it's nice, but you need a bit more. Releasing at the last second, <laughs> not really going to go in. It was an incentive. That was nice. But this eight-point lead is something that we need to talk about. This has been very, very good for service. And I think for them, it's... Something to be said, remember, it felt like it was going to be fast-paced action inside the entire time, but it's not. You were able to draw the pace towards yourself. You were able to play on the outside, and there was almost no resistance coming out from Tyrone. So you were able to grab, what was it, three in a row? Yeah. I think for pretty much free, which is ridiculous. And you look at the, uh, the rebound battle, it's plus three at the moment for the side of Bob Jones High, and the majority of those... Uh, it, offensive rebounds you you look at offensive rebound diff and Jeez. you're talking five to one five to none <laughs> you cannot just allow not only free reign but extra chances on top of it here's a three ball and that's going to be a good statement to start the next half off learning to play on the outside is going to be a huge boon i think for hate tyron you really do need that now a steal to be had just a strip away if you can now a chase right up the middle a foul under the bucket and honestly it feels like that was a kind of a rush there you go ahead lay in one should get the second as well that'll close the gap ever so slightly uh, free throws the unsung heroes especially in the video game world the execution the name <laughs> of the game and i i do expect both of these finalists to put in a oh, large majority man. of their free throws. If I see one missed, I might get upset. He's spaghetti. 
Oh, don't worry. I'll I'll miss all of them for you later because okay. I'm terrible at this. It's uh, <laughs> you know, they should. Of course, now fighting for the inside once again, and because of this momentum piece, I am seeing a little bit more uh, for uh, Hate Tyrone. Go ahead and get GEA a little bit extra love in there. Nine points, I think, total so far. And it's feeling pretty good. Four out of five right now on those field goals. And now looking for the top once again. This time, though, covered properly. And now you get a chance at a bucket. Challenge once again, though. No foul. An easy run of back. So a miss or miss now means another three-pointer. It's not going to go in. Stripped. And now for the first turn, can you get it? You're going to rush to the outside. Another one in. But you're a little bit late on that pass because of that. You can't make use of that inside run that you had. But you're finally starting to see that pick and roll get blocked, get slowed down, and it, it can be small little dimes there in the box, in the paint, to whittle down the lead when you consider eight points, now down to four. Pick and roll, much better coverage being agitated. No way. <laughs> Stop that, you know what? pastor cursing them. <laughs> No, no, don't do it to him. Oh, no. Oh! <laughs> All right, that's it. Service, service. Back to a 10 point lead. We watched that happen with our very eyes, and we could not believe it. Not able to get into the middle like you normally can, not able to get inside the paint. This time you do from the corner. And it's only going to be two, though. We said this before. If you match threes for twos, it doesn't work out that way. That's going to be a quick shove back to the top. Not really going to have it. Trying to juke your way out. And this is a weird position to be in. I didn't know you could block from the back side. It is going to work, though. Denial. No and now you're going to go right inside, right back out. No, you want those threes buckets all the way around three in a row. Uh, that one might have actually been a two now that I look at it. Oh, we are 58-48. Yeah. It, it was extremely close, but another offensive rebound. It adds to the theme of game number one between these two in the Alabama High School Athletic Association State Woo! Championship brought to you by Play Versus as we see another fast break opportunity goes low opposite side dunks it home and it's just an eight-point lead oh I thought we were oh. gonna get a steal Listen, it's because we have seen steals like that. I think that's fair. I think that's fair to think about. Right now, a challenge once again as service is trying to play for these outsides, and, and I really like it. These three pointers have been so pivotal, honestly. But now a spin to the inside of the paint tries to throw it up, but wow. gets the rebound as well. Now you're gonna pass it right back outside, still inside if you wish. But you're running out of time right now. Down to about six seconds. You try to get away a no spin way. inside, another spin behind, and you don't get it oh. in. It hits the rim though. You get to reset again. This is getting out of control right now, Kendo. A launch on the top side. Still another miss. Finally, a rebound in favor of OKC. They're going to sprint their way down to the outside. And in goes the paint. In goes the bucket. I almost want to see a little bit of a slow down thought process mm -hmm. from the side of Russell County High. And Iron has played well. Trying to keep up with some of those pick and rolls is definitely stopped the it, what seemed like a loss on a majority of the challenges ooh that's not it though oh that uh mm. that hurts a little bit and you can see here the hard swap okc going in all right all right what do you want manager let's go ahead and shake it up you go ahead get a little bit of a shift and, and it is hate tyrone to realize they're in a little bit of trouble of course with these quick breakouts you go ahead and drop one in Still within single digits. It's not bad, but you really have been forced into two alternatives. One is play inside with those fast if you can. Now it's a breakaway on the side of the Clippers, and it's well done by service to start matching those two-point gains. Very much so. You want to press your advantage when you have it. Being up, plus two, plus three, here and there, it will go a long way. It's the sustained pressure, the sustained points. That go the distance, and right now, for Chad of Bob Jones High, they are looking extremely impressive as we have a little bit of a timeout. Mm -hmm. Probably a couple of substitutions. Got to get ready for that final quarter. Make sure that everyone is ready on the energy side. You don't want gassed players because that'll lead to more misses. Mm-hmm. And I, and I like that fact doing it here instead of at the top of the fourth. It just, it feels a little bit better. 
in my opinion. It's actually going to be another timeout, and I uh, understandably so in this. You have six, so it, it's nice to have. So you go ahead and get some swaps in. You go ahead set yourselves up for what could be the next. Let's see who comes out here. I, I am quite curious uh, how many members they are going to swap out uh, in and about, because that could change the uh, very <laughs> nature of this game, I think. Uh Cheerleaders and the entertainers working overtime with three timeouts in a row, but they're taking the extension on this one, thinking about what is next. I had mentioned the worry, the concern about the team getting gassed. You can throw that out the window. I don't think anybody's <laughs> gassed at this point as everyone's had their fair share of the Gatorade on the side in the bench. Mm -hmm. and, and honestly, I want to take a look and take the time to kind of break it down because we do get to talk about the stark differences right now. Service has been so aggressive outside with those threes, and it, it's been powerful to say the least. But on the flip side, we take a look at how Hate Siren has tried to run it and been very aggressive with their own movements. Most of the time, it's been, you know, just that straight to the paint, go ahead, get the dunk of the layup, one or the other. They just started, I want to say, testing out the three sh uh the three um the three pointers if they can and it feels a little bit too late into this game to really try and get that under control mm -hmm. i i agree there needs to be a more firm adjustment earlier and they've struggled at times against the pick and roll and the spin move the spin move also has given quite a bit of frustration right when you think they have the pick and roll covered you, you see a drive to the basket. You see a quick spin. We see it here. Oh, a little bit of passing around. Good patience, but eventually oh, wow. they screen themselves, and it is a nine-point lead again. They're going to try and launch it. Last oh. few seconds. Ain't nowhere close. For the first time, I think we have over 10-point difference. This is going to get surprising, I'm going to say. Remember, that was four timeouts. Uh, coming out of uh, the LAC side, so service really dropping a lot of stuff right there. I'm, I'm really watching uh, for Hate Tyron. What does he want to do? How is he going to break this out? And go ahead, see things getting heated up a little bit here. Going to chase into the center. Good little screen right there, and you open up the center. This is their, this is their bread and butter. Yeah, very much so. A, a very uh, elementary thought process on, on the offense, pick and roll, uh, both teams going to it quite often i definitely need to see the coverage there's the spin and the help and it's a stop it's a start it's a much needed one as well but keep in mind this is where hate tyron loves to play if he's able to get these steals or these oh. denial tools and then go ahead and move in for that drop it is it is how he has been able to kind of control some of the earlier stages before this lead was taken over however right back in to that simple state only a seven point difference up to the top service gonna try and hang it down no real block to be had but leaves that three point wide open once again but spins out and that feels so bad another opportunity for the okc if they can rush their way in but they almost lose the ball as well now that the oh. top hate tyron taking one of the few threes possible and this time makes it in three points for hate tyron 7-0 run to start the fourth quarter, and here comes another one! Oh, Tyron no. running them down! There's the slam, and they are within a single possession! Of all times to have it hitting, that's a rough step outside. Honestly, beautiful job, though. You kick things into high gear with that sprint, and now you have service in a little bit of an awkward spot. You go, well, hey, what the heck just happened? Why did this occur? Why am I in this position? The main thing is, is, hey, you let you let it get a little bit too out of control, and now I'm actually saying, hey, I actually, uh, you know, kind of dislike the fact that you went for so many threes because now you tied yourself in. That's why we're seeing, uh, why we're seeing these charges into the paint, trying to get inside for those two points, get a little bit closer to the rim. But you're challenging someone to their main forte, and out of the oh, by the side of service as well, or is that a yeah, that is outside by service. I see how things are interesting. Shortened shot clock. I think this is a very crucial possession because you want to stay on top of it. Big offensive rebound. Gets a reset. It's a chance for her to go again and will collect. A two-point game. Iran trying to keep it close. 
course, we know Service loves to try and open up this lead with a high three-pointer, but this time has been challenging more inside. But you get stopped. Very nice tool to slow things down again. It seems like uh, Hey Tyron has really woken up here. A nice release, wow. an excellent basket. You keep it just outside, four point difference. Two and a half minutes though, plenty of time to change up. And it's a freebie inside. Another dunk down by Tyrone. I mean, I remember back in the day when it was let Russ Russ, and at the moment, uh, they are doing exactly that. The defense, they've been a little bit to be desired. The pass across, so nobody free. home. You cannot leave them that far open, especially with how close confines everything has been. I honestly thought Hate Tyrone had that under control, had things kind of in that piece. That's going to be an attempt at a steal out from Service. Service trying to run interference here, the user. It, it, I love this, by the way. Just trying to spin the AI into weird spots here. But it is going to be at the top here and a Ooh. block it back. We are seeing Hate Tyrone drop threes of their own. I wonder how this is going to be played out. Two point game once again. Minute 50 left. It's open. Service takes it. And you know that's going in. Yes, indeed. Here's the thing it's going to come down to as we are approaching just about a minute and a half. And we see another wow. quick run down for a dunk. We have multiple players who are in a, a very hot streakish state uh, on the side of the Clippers. You're talking about both Harden and Westbrook. Maybe even a little bit of Kawhi oh, Leonard ooh. getting hit on the action. But it's mainly GA at the moment who has that shot streak going on. Who it will be OKC's go-to towards the end. And that's a oh. big steal. Gets on the ground, kills the momentum, takes the timeout, though. And we'll see if they're able to capitalize on the possession one. I like to point out that this was, I, I don't want to say excessive by any means, but it was dangerous on either side. You saw the number of turnovers that went down in that, you know, what was it, 30 second span. Mm -hmm. You see both these, uh, both these players are really scrambling to try and find any semblance of a point, which I really do like, but it is scary. You mentioned before, slow down the pace, there's a minute 17 left. You do have to kind of be aware of the current state of that game. You mentioned the streaks for some of these players at the same time. I'm sitting there. Both players have kind of shifted up where they want to go for. You can see just wow. inside, so it's going to be a two. But it's more than enough to keep it at a one-point game. We are seeing Hate Tyron really come online, but you can't get too antsy with it. No, you cannot. And another oh. steal. The pickpockets are coming in. And they're going strong. But a reckless pass. It's and the back. mid's going to send things back. The three ball shot will be out. And they look to transition again into the front court. What is happening, Kendo? That the steals are out of control. The steals are fully out of control. And it has to be frustrating on the back end at the same time. This is showing a little bit of a lapse in that judgment from, uh, I wanna say, um, I wanna say service. Cause service has done, you know, a relatively good job of keeping themselves pretty stable in a three point pattern. But now we're seeing uh, kind of, I wanna say interesting movements. The choice to try and charge that, the choice to try and break through forcefully is not working. It doesn't really fit with the place. Also just trying to make something else happen. I understand it, but it's frustrating. And it hurts to watch at some point. Big possession. Time running down 10 on the shot clock. You don't want to force it. You want to try to get the best possession you possibly oh. can. Are they just going to run up for a dunk? No, it's a foul. Two shots on the line, and you're going to have to deal with a shaky screen. But both players, perfect efficiency on the free throw line. And here's the thing, that's the first change back to an OKC lead that we've seen all games since the opening quarter. That's crazy, but it's going to be stripped right back. All of a sudden, we got a dangerous game to be played. 28 seconds this is the possession and a half if you can play for it. Maybe you want to run down that clock if you can. Tyron, going to set it up, going to wait it out, try and get around into the middle, pass inside, and you go ahead and get that layup. It's easy done, but 19 seconds, you can easily drop a two or a three. We know that the likes of service can easily try and drop three, force a two oh, no. points, and they're going to chase in. They're going to look to dump it outside okay. once again to the top of the can. They're trying to desperately pass it around, and they get the back and oh, a oh. layup, and they make it. What a move. Now the goaltending will be the call. 
One point lead, eight seconds left. Just stout defense, all that separates a game. One victory and oh! a loss, and that is a dunk in the paint. Now they need to go the distance. Oh, I know, on the opposite side, I thought for a second they had walked out with it. But what a comeback from Russell County High and Tyron sticking with it the entire way. It's not over till it's over. Knowing these two players, I am terrified of what this 2.4 seconds can do. See back. Passes in. Gonna wait. Tossing it out high. You gotta try and shoot service. Not able to get off the ground. There it is. Do you get it? Oh! You got it! Buckets for LAC! What a move by service! <laughs> Who else but Harden? Game time, you go to the beard, and it is the <laughs> LA Clippers. <laughs> Chad Johnson and Bob Jones High with the game number one victory. What fireworks! You couldn't ask for a better <laughs> way to end game one. I told you, you you are all for. You are all for that 80-79. I saw you, Kendo. You are all for it. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. You can't do that. I believed. I knew these two players are going to go the distance. Of course, I didn't because they are fantastic. And I had my worries in the middle. I was sitting there going, hey, these are a couple of issues. But overall, they kept us on a nice edge every single moment. Yep, and it was all gas, no breaks. I had a couple questions about timeout usage towards the very end, but both members ended up converting off of the timeout. So very high efficiency. The free throws were immaculate throughout. Really good stuff, folks. We saw a great win in game number one, but now it's your chance to win we got another giveaway from our friends with 2k and it is going to be the hashtag play versus p-l-a-y-v-s hashtag play versus in the chat you have another chance to win a nba 2k24 black mamba edition code the drawing imagine it will be shortly but oh my make sure you get in because <laughs> there is more action on the way and if we end up seeing a mirror of that orbital i i get the feeling it's gonna be a good day i'm more than excited for it and, and here's the deal i am sitting there going what just happened Right at the end of the day, both players basically threw defense out the window, mm -hmm. and for service, I actually, I feel service feels they could have done a lot better in that scenario. The reason for it is they left the inside very open for a lot of those fast breaker ways. We mentioned uh, that hate Tyrone really, really enjoyed kind of making use of that quick shot off the off the rip. If you get that chance to break away, you're solid. And we do have a change up. We are going from the OK Thunder oh, oh, oh. over to the side of the Bucks now. Yeah, so that will be a little bit of a change. And deciding to go with a, a, te a team that has a little bit more stout a look. If you ask me, uh, just going down the lineup, OKC, you, you had GA, who is the relative star, but it was a, a team based around team play. What we ended up seeing was a, a Bob Jones high, Chad Johnson led three pronged <laughs> attack where it was pick and roll after pick and roll. And James Harden, Russell Westbrook doing work a large majority of the match. And you don't want to have to do that once again. No one wants to go down to the final wire and leave it to a situation where you are just hemorrhaging on a single chance granted it's exciting but i don't think for either player that's how you want this match to go at the same time that just shows the level of skill for both ends both players are really playing to the best of their ability and they've done so well for it so with a two point start a quick nip in there we talked about it hate tyron really likes those fast easy points service though gonna try and set up their three point game once again Taking a deep breath as it, it seems like service is going to do exactly that. There's the pick and roll. Choose to take their time. Open jump shot. Easy two. And I, I imagine they're going to be doing exactly what they did 
before. Look to get James Harden started. Look to get Kawhi Leonard involved in the game. But what are you going to do about the Greek Ooh. freak and those arms? They they single-handedly could stop the pick and roll if used correctly. All right, now you don't even have to worry about that. Draining another three to start. This is the patented and true style of service. Once again, to the inside, you're looking, hey, Tyron, really trying to play in a methodical sense, but that's going to be a simple steal. Might as well have been a pass from the enemy team, and now you're going to look, service drops it in. Not going to have it, though, covered very nicely. <laughs> Giannis took a dive there, and that's going to be straight to him. Easy dunk. We'll keep everything close. I have no doubt in my mind that we are going to see rapid-fire offense from both of these players. My no, that only happens in uh, third and fourth quarter. Not oh. not in first and second. That doesn't happen. <laughs> I don't know about that one, my friend. But <laughs> <laughs> We've just seen chaos. Like, after that fourth, I just... I'm not sure what's going to go down, right? Like, I'm just not laying Ooh. anything on the line. It's just crazy to see service playing inside and out. And now Ooh. a little bit closer if they can. Wide open but slightly late. Feels bad. Gets a steal back. Gets a second chance. You're going to dump it out to the outside. Service gets inside it very nicely and just drops it in as simple as a feather. Definitely can't get careless with control of the ball. I'm going to utilize name. The push in, but that is an easy oh, wow. rejection. And run all the way back down. They do have Giannis look a bit on Harden. And I, I feel like that, that's going to be a key to the team change. You want to try to get long arms as possible. Stop the pick and roll. Oh, but you're wow. also going to have to stop the offensive rebounds, which plagued you in the first game. Brooks oh. Lopez so slow. And no! Oh, oh, no! <laughs> this is the three. Offensive Another offensive rebound splash. Oh, my God. That was all illegal. Everything that just happened was illegal to the nth degree, Kendo. That should never be allowed. It was a 4v5 for at no. least a, a, like 30 seconds, and now you get to do it again? This is leaning so far into service's favor right now. Another spin to try and fake him out at this point. I don't oh, ever, I, I'm never going to say it's not a fake, but a breakaway chance. You got to try and rush up the middle. No one really there to help out, so you have to try and drop him back out. You're going to go outside in, and that's a 3 oh. s Second violation oh, feels no. bad. If you ask me, there needs to be a timeout here very shortly to stop the momentum. Uh, the Clippers on top of things strongly at this given moment. Another pick and roll comes no. down. Okay. Okay. That's how it's supposed to go, by the way. Not two offensive rebounds in a row. That is that is illegal. Going ahead and backing away as far as they can. No points scored so far. And you're going to try and pass it off, but... I mean, these challenges, look at this kind of attempt to brute force their way in. Not going to happen. Five seconds left. Don't have much of an option. You're going to have to shoot with coverage on you. It's going to get very, very close. You try and spin in. You get the release in. Very nicely done. Last second available, but it looks like hate Tyrone's got things under control. Still needs to get the initial defense under wraps because that was an easy pass out. Will be a miss this time and a breathe easy opportunity. For Tyron, but you can't just allow a, a drive that deep into the paint. Wow. As it creates. And we're going to see it here right now. This is, uh, it's also uncharacteristic. Oh. Is that some miss? So both players are starting to have what I want to say is a little bit. No, oh. two in a row. What, Kendo, you said you were going to be disappointed. What, what's going on here? Uh, that, that's, that's uncharacteristic. And even Giannis, if I remember right, his free throw percentage, his free throw rating is pretty stinking high. So uh, that, that definitely hurts. I mean, when you're giving freebie points as well, which we know, I uh, hate Tyrone, I, I, I hate to say it, desperately needs you play inside the paint more often than not. So any extra points that you can get to kind of counter these threes is necessary. You go ahead and score again and you kind of make up for it. But I think a lost opportunity there for hate Tyrone right now service. Gonna try and breathe, get back into it. First quarter is almost done here. You go ahead, drop wow. in a two. You keep that length of distance, six point difference. 
And honestly, though, I'm surprised that service kind of dropping that three-point game. Is it going to try and look 10 seconds left? More than enough time to go ahead and try and get a little bit extra value on this lead. Spin, shoot to the outside, push outside if you can. It's going to be an attempt onside, and it's not going to happen. So no extra on the back end. But another impressive quarter that we've gotten to see from Bob Jones High. And this time, they're going to start things off with a lead, a larger one than what we saw in the first match. So it, fairly impressive uh, to keep the momentum going and, and to keep pushing what we already saw was a, a fantastic start to this series. It, for Chad Jackson, it has led a large majority of these quarters, all but one. If they're able to continue what we've already seen, at the very least, we know it is going to be a game they have the potential to control. I mean, this is... This is very interesting to watch. Keep in mind, by this time, I think we had already a decent amount of points. Uh, this was, what, I think it was like 20, 22 to, I think, 18, 19. So it, it was a pretty different scoreline. Of course, right now, these long-range points are just being offered every single time. Now at the top free throw, Lion is in. That's going to be a nice one for this service member. Uh, service going to go ahead and happily try and grab an extra. So now, eight points away. Quick dive down. We'll get fouled for their effort. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, if I remember right, Brooke Lopez doesn't always have the best free throw. So that one, that one I can forgive. You just got to make the other one. Oh, no, nope. that's four in a row. <laughs> At this point, might as well foul again, just for just for the heck of it. See how far the run can... No, you're not going to do that. Of course, opportunities are abound right now for Service, who's spinning on the inside, using that big center and saying thank you very much. We're right back to that 10-point lead that we saw in game number one. We know it can evaporate in less than a second, but very nice poster to set themselves up for another bucket. Hate Tyrone trying to make work of this uh, deficit. Make space. Oh, oh, that would have been a statement. No posterizing this time around. Do they get one the other way? No, just a standard lay-in. And, and that's the sort of momentum they need to start building. Giannis has not had very much in the way of offensive action. No way. That is an ill-advised shot, and you're just giving possession away. At this point, this is kind of what we saw in, I think, the fourth quarter as well. This is a bit of frustration. I think coming out here, that's a beautiful three-pointer. Yeah, we're seeing this shift in the momentum again for uh, for Hate Tyrone. It feels like service is getting a little bit antsy about something. This is only the second quarter. Like, you don't have to force anything. No reason to get excessive with it. You're going to head right back to the top here. You said, hey, if you're not really going to follow that much, I'll go ahead and take an easy three for myself. At least that one goes in this time. Indeed, indeed, as they look to, again, bring in and rein Oof. in that. It wasn't the shot. <laughs> no, I didn't want to do it. I didn't want to do no, it. Listen, but, listen, but every we do part what of my body and soul <laughs> wanted to yell it out. I'm not going to go that far this time. Well, it's just like, it, it feels bad because we watch as service drinks three after three. It's getting yes. to an outrageous level. And oh! then you try the other side where, yes, you have an amazing dunk capacity. But it just feels bad watching threes go in like that. And then you watch yours just fly off to the wayside. I definitely can agree oh. to that. Good defense, stout defense from the control on the Giannis. Does the three bring us closer? There yes, indeed. It is down to a four point lead and the run is started. It has begun. The Bucks are making a comeback. Don't call it one. Don't call it one until it is. That's gonna be a high firing ball. And this is why I said it. We know what service is more than capable of. The Clipper squad is so good about creating those space and opportunities. And not only that, a little bit weaker on the side of uh, of uh, Hate Tyrone, who kind of neglects usually the outside perimeter. So watching this happen, great juke to the side, easy in. That's gonna be another two. Bones that he can win the race. Just under a minute and a half to go. 
They gotta stop those threes if they want to do it. Nah, nah. If it would have stopped, it would have been stopped earlier. It, it feels like service is right back in control. You're okay letting that through. Just drain another three. It's fine. <laughs> Working on getting the. Listen, don't hate me for that. I am just amazed that every single. It feels like almost all of them have gone in from service. Yeah, they have definitely gone the extra mile to find the opportunities. Oh another splashdown. This time, it looks like they're working the Paul George train for the Clippers. That is another Just... foul. Second one on George. I know, but this could possibly be the fifth missed. Yeah. And this time it goes in, so a little bit of a learning experience there. Well done. Do you get the next? Yes, yeah. you do. Uh, I was going to say, so it, it's... <laughs> You miss a free throw on Dame Lillard, like yeah, that. That right there is the the sin to end all sins. You, you cannot miss a you can't miss a free throw on a guy who hits close to ninety percent. I mean, I know you say that, but anything can happen here. It feels this like that's true. gonna be a shove out, quick foul, right back, and you know now we get to see it right back in service's favor. You go ahead and put yourself up for a little bit of a. Nice extended lead, and keep in mind, this could put it at a nine-point difference. Kind of a lazy shove, too. Like, you had a very well-defended forward position, two in the box, and it was on a spin move. You have to do a little bit better than that in that moment. That's well, a nice one there. Nine-point difference, and hey, Tyrone, going to give it their best shot. A little bit of a run forward. No one inside this time, and it might as well just have a little bit of fun. Service goes ahead, drops a pause, and is going to try and trade out a few members, I think. Yeah, I don't blame them. You can see the difference, though, on your screen between the first and the second quarters. It was a little more calculated, maybe tentative, getting to feel out the difference between the two teams that had been played in the game number one of this best of three but since then, it has been total non-stop action, and we have not even finished the second quarter, but have very interesting tallies. And it's just, I mean, I'm, I'm loving these differences as well. Uh, again, the stark difference between how these two players wants to play, and I mentioned it before, uh, I, I think all the way at the beginning before this match played out, there are two ways to optimize your strategy. One way to play is to, you know, strategize against your opponent. Make sure that you're trying to uh, understand where they're at and stuff like that. The other is just play your own game. And at this point, both players have got to opt for that. And I don't think it's going to change anytime soon. Take their time. We come out of the break. 20 eight seconds to go no doubt that we're gonna see maybe another three ball here comes the pick and roll long pass and that is just insult wow. to injury you can't let that one go down uh, at this point it is happening the reality of what we want it to be are two totally different things and this is gonna get wildly out of control a little bit too far blocked inside the paint oh. and now Tua once again head to the sides heads outside the perimeter watch where it goes down a quick little dip in you drew multiple members and this time it's gonna be the halftime well done so far 10 point lead Kendo we're right back it's like deja vu from game one yeah very much so you had an eight point lead in the in the first one but another a brilliant second quarter run for Bob Jones high and they are in control a little more staunchly this time around you look the the steals favoring them the rebounds again favoring them although offensive rebounds I gotta give credit where credit is due to Russell County high they did a great job of minimizing those second chance efforts they just have to do a little bit better with efficiency when they're on ball it's so, so good. But right now in this halftime, we're no, we're wondering who's going to win yeah. this game. But I think we have a couple other yeah, winners out there to announce. We do have a couple more winners of our drawing as we see another shot from Harden. It Woo! is uh, Delps Lurkin and, and R-I underscore R-E. Ryri. Uh, again, Delps Lurkin. D-A-O-P-P-C Lurkin and R-I underscore R-E. You are our winners. Oof 
for the NBA 2K24 Black Mama Edition codes. You're going to have a membership from NBA 2K giving you the whisper, the, the DMs, letting you know how you can get your prize. Honestly, though, the winners there are great. The winners not here right now are the three-pointers that Hate Tyrone is trying to throw. That was a second air ball, as much as I hate to say that, and it feels bad. Oh, because no. watch it, service says, oh, easy, easy money. This, is, this lead is getting out of control right now. It's another one of those rosters that can be very reminiscent of the Splash Brothers oh. era of Golden State. Real big dunk, a statement dunk even, but you're just seeing quick shot threes, and that one won't go, but a majority of them have. All you need is a majority. That's the crazy part. Great foul, unfortunately, goes down, and that feels a little bit bad. But honestly, huge props and respect over to Service. Who, again, we we talked about it. The stylization that's coming out here. There's. Oh, oh that feels no! Bad. That feels bad. Not three. All right, good. You got one of three, but it's just like Service has essentially said, "You're never going to try and stop me." on the outside right now, so I might as well keep no going. Way. That one should not go in at all. Jesus, slightly early, slightly too far away is what it should be saying. Hate Tyrone goes ahead, spins inside, tries to lay it up, and does. Easy too, but that's a long road ahead of you. A cautionary tale for service. You don't want to be taking ill-advised shots. Keep the, what has been working, working around. Get the oh, ball to different man. people. It's another three ball, and... Oh, like, I, 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 I like what we're seeing. The steal comes through. Transition game. You know they're not going for the layup. They're going for the three. <laughs> and here it comes. So just off. <laughs> this is getting out of control right now. This is. Oh my god, I love it. I, I love the fact that we see like the hard shift of identification yeah. from uh, Hate Siren. It's like, okay, I see what's going on. But it, it's so late now. Offensive rebound gathered in, and you're going to try and step your way forward, trying to burst your way into the paint, and you do right around rest, but no problems to be had. And now you're finally getting some more points on the board, but as we said, 13 point difference. You have to make up so much ground right now. Keep in mind, though, and this may come back to bite, minus six for free throws. Mm -hmm. If you make the six that you've missed, this score line is a very different, very feasible score line. <laughs> this is crazy. Oh, Runs no. down the oh, clock, no. and that's another three from Harden. Oh, my no time whatsoever just, just like you don't care you literally waited for 10 seconds and then drop that in that's ridiculous a two-pointer goes right back and you're okay with that one a little bit of a toss in and now you get to sprint to the outside service is like yo get out of my face let me go ahead and shoot my threes like i always want to do you're gonna spin in dump it right back outside why do you keep falling oh! for it it's just too easy oh and they're going hard for the steals as well they give him the lane. And at, at, at this point, you know, timeout, just because your players are gassed, you're looking at those energy bars. They're below half, and you are trying to lay up against a brick wall. Pulls up, does not hit three numbers. Uh, I think infinity at this point between these two teams. Every single time, the three ball is such a threat. I love the fact that Hate Tyron has basically said, oh. you know, it doesn't matter. Uh, it, it doesn't matter if I win or not. It's all about getting that poster. It's yes. all about getting that clip. And at this point, I respect it. Dunk after dunk, even though you know you're down the granted, you have a whole extra oh. quarter to work with. But when you get buckets like this, getting further and further outside, by the way, this is out of control. It's a third, but honestly, that was two three-pointers ago. It doesn't matter. This is service. Feeling like they're in full control. Foul finally here late into the third. Definitely a lot of uh, where is the defense thought process between these two teams. We, we make free throw number one. And I, I will ask that question uh, at this point. Game far from over. 
We have seen brilliant runs out of Tyron. And for Russell County High, this game's not over yet. Goes for two, goes for the dunk, and might be able to gather a little bit of momentum from it. Oh, man. If a chance has to be had, it's there. Of course, if you wish to, service could run down the clock here a little bit, waste no out way. this third, not allow <laughs> any extra time. I mean, that would be the smart play. It would. I think because you know you're going to hit at least one three each time for two possessions. Like, I, I, I would say that. Yeah, you are going to run down the clock. This is the right call. You go ahead and just wait it out. That's going to be a timeout being used now, finally. Uh, but it is by, by service. Service is chilling on this. I, I can see the uh, same tactic that was utilized in the previous match where they took a large amount of timeouts, let the entertainment crew do their dances on the floor, and then uh, see the entire energy bars replenished for both teams. And, uh, mm. We are seeing exactly that. Fourth quarter means it, it is an extremely important opportunity you do not want to waste it. And I think for... I, I think for Hate Tyrone, you're going to try your best, of course. But it's just, you got to come up with a different strategy. There's got to be some adjustments here. Uh, this is... I, I well, Where was it? I think it was at about a minute into the third quarter, we saw that outright aggression, that attempt at kind of blocking out on the key side. And, and, and I understand that, hey, maybe you don't defend inside then. At this point, I don't think you have to care. If you can match two for two and then maybe get a steal in between, that might be the play. <sighs> Big breath, everybody, as we go through uh, another one of those timeouts. They, uh, thought for a second we might get a play, but we've been deep faked. Three timeouts left for the Clippers in this one. Not that it matters. 13 Point lead again i'll go back to the caveat of six free throws missed and a seven point score line it seems a whole lot more doable but are we too far gone if we are russell county high i know we we saw a brilliant run to bring things close but that was just a seven point run mm. this time around you're talking 13. And a big part of that is just the, uh, I want to say the state that service is currently in. Service has looked so clean, I want to say right now. Yes, there's been one or two that have been left off to the wayside, but service has looked better and better as we move into the rest of this series. Has looked much stronger on those three points, a much better handle, and maybe that's just because you're going up against the Milwaukee side of things. So... For me, I'm sitting here going, I don't think you even want to attempt that exchange value. Uh, if four, uh, if, if we're looking at the side of um, of hate Tyrone, you don't want to get into that mess because at this point you're basically saying, I want a almost guaranteed two versus a fairly guaranteed three. That is not odds that I would ever want to take. Okay. Random question because, of course, we're in the extended break. Have you ever launched a T-shirt cannon? I oh fun story I have not but I've been hit in the face with one of them. Hey, well the, it the, the cannon itself or the T-shirt fired. Uh, you don't want to know which one. Either way, my nose has never been the same. Uh, <laughs> no, uh, it was it was by the T-shirt that. Came okay, out. I was about to it say, wasn't. wait a minute, <laughs> wait a minute, the, the no, no, T-shirt no, 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 no. cannon. Was... If they actually threw that thing, <laughs> 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 they they had no more T-shirts. The crowd still wanted some, and uh, you know they just launched the cannon at us. Uh, no, I got hit in the face with a t-shirt. Someone else got the t-shirt, and I was sad. <laughs> Had it. Oh, oh, there it is. Oh, there's another there it is. One. And at this point, you've got to put a stop to it. If you are Russell County and Tyron, you have to be able to do something. They're going out of their way. Going out of their way. turn <laughs> up. This, this might be insult to injury. <laughs> I love it, though. I love it. Hey, lo whoa. Okay. That's a, that's a fun way to do it. There we go. Third quarter is done. And we are wondering where this is going to go right now. Hate Tyrone came out pretty hot in the first quarter with a quick couple of baskets. And then ever since that first game, has never really felt in control. Well done by service side. 
to really put themselves in a strong position. Right now, ramping up to what I believe is a 14 to 16 is what they're hoping a lead. Okay, we are we have a 14 point lead, and by comparison, it was an 11 point lead in the previous game. We know that there is a potential run in store, and we'll see if they're able to get it started. Not off of that shot. The runner ends up rimming out, and they will find a response. Another two. Very rare two this time from, from surface. Wow. Whoa! Oh, very nicely done, though. Uh, like this it. is some of those sparks that hate Tyrone has really had to throw down here. And it's just like those minuscule opportunities that you take advantage of. This is going to be a challenge, though. Look at the chase in and out. Good mm. little attempt. You almost take them out. You can see Tyrone just trying to trying to send it right now, but there's only so much you can send. This time, though, you do block it out, and you get a chance on your own. This is where that streak can come from. You're trying to bully your way inside. Nice little pump, and you go ahead and throw it in. Ill-advised to uh, throw Giannis at people, because that is a very large man and very easily create a foul, but that, that seemed like it was the game plan on that last one. Worked out. I, I don't recommend the overuse of it. It, it. One thing's for sure, you got to get out on those pick and rolls, because they are getting you with them. 15-point lead, not looking to stop. And every single moment of the delay. I, I appreciate a good set offense. I appreciate taking your time trying to uh, whittle away at the defense proper, but uh, definitely did not look good there. Paul George, another oh. splash. And this one is getting out of hand. An 18-point lead. And that's going to be whittled away, but at this point, it is understood that I don't think anything that Tyron decides to do is going to be stopped. Take a look at that. 16 fast breaks, each of them pretty much resulting in a three. Throw it down with the opponent watchers on your backside. A little bit of a shove as things get a little bit tussle heavy. Might as well give it a shot. The first three, I think, for the Bucks in quite some time. Man, does it feel good, but it might be too little too late. Yeah, the bench likes it at least. We, we can see them celebrating over there, but... Quickly sat right back down because the threes are coming in droves from the side of Chad, from the Clippers. And it's no easy baskets back the other way. Needs to get Giannis out of the paint. No three-second violation this time around. The shot, the rebound, and turning things around. A chance to go up by 20 and if you ask me two minutes 12 seconds to go uh, all you need is a two here and you can start singing the song because uh, this one's uh -uh. very close to over uh, uh you know service there ain't no twos in their bucket twos are for those that can't shoot threes that's what you're gonna say <laughs> and of course it's blocked as foul but you know service wants to go for the threes all day long and i respect it there it is. There is your 20 points in the lead service, ensuring that this lead will never get out and away. That is going to be ridiculous. And slowing down as we do see a, a quick little two. Most of these shots going to need to be fast. We let's see for a second the scoring leaders, Paul George coming in strong on the three ball and not too often you see that level of impressive play and we are just observing the clock being run down i, I the block but I love that. I, I, it just surprises oh, me <laughs> it just surprises me because you lost a good solid 20 25 seconds on that yeah that was this is feeling a little bit bad, and right now, Service is like, oh, I lost my 20-point lead. Give me one second. Oh, my God. For reference, there would need to be seven three-point shots to be made with no response for Hate Tyrone to come back, and honestly, they played well in their own right. 
I think. Uh, I think Hate Tyrone had a good idea, played inside quite often. It's just you were not ready for this outside aggression. And honestly, I'm just... Jesus. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> there was anger in that block, by the way. <laughs> I definitely been just throwing Giannis at everything on the court. It was only a matter of time before he blocked something. <laughs> yeah, that what is that, two of 20 strong. blocks right there? <laughs> oh, my God. I uh, love the three this. Ball I... will go through. Hey. All right. All right. That is, that is good to see. Oh, uh, actually, yeah, I, it, it, we are, ah, okay, I do apologize, uh, sorry, not Upshaw Gray, am I, yes, I, I did, I did mix that up, it is actually, uh, yeah. Bob Jones, Bob Jones lead, I've been saying the wrong thing all this time, I do apologize, this has been Bob Jones, what did it, I've been saying the other way around, <laughs> yeah, that's victory Oops. song, Brought to you by yes. Bob Jones High, and they now have a mere seven seconds left to go. Another three ball. Why not? Send it. No, it's a <laughs> foul. Well, to end things out. Minutes, or one, not one minute, one second, or 1.6 seconds left on the clock. This one all but over. It's formality at this point, Orbital. It is Chad. It is Bob Jones High going to be the ones getting the state championship of Alabama for the Alabama High School Athletic Association. And three to go away? No, not quite. We have our winners on the screen, but yes. we do have one more go of it for winners off the screen. You, the viewer, have one more chance to win. The NBA 2K24 Black Mamba Edition. So you want to put in hashtag champs right now in the chat. Hashtag champs. And you have your chance to win one of those copies. Uh, I'm going to be rolling that one shortly as we have seen the state championship come and go. And it was an extremely impressive effort throughout by Bob Jones High. They stuck with their plan. You know, trust the process, am I right? <laughs> Get a little bit of that Joel in there with none of it on the court. Mm -hmm. it, was, uh, it was something to be said, and honestly, it feels like it was a clash of matchups, really. You could see the sparks of where, if Hate Tyrone, I think, was placed up against anyone else, Maybe not that large of a difference. Granted, the shift in play styles, many people can play threes and twos, can play inside and outside, depending on the teams. But it just felt like a mismatch in how both players got to the grand finals. That's really all it felt like at the end of the day. I mean, Service loved the outside. Even when you had an inside attempt, Service like, nah, nah, no worries. Yeah. I'm going to go for that three either way. Uh, and, and that's the thing. You, you saw, I, I, I don't want to... I don't want mean this to sound harsh, but you you saw rather than like an adjustment in that pick and roll game, it, it was the change of mentality to you know what I'm just going to outscore <laughs> rather than worry about the pick and roll that was picked up on by Chad that was picked up on by Bob Jones High and what did they do? Well, they got the ball all the way down the paint and at times they were walking it back to take the three <laughs> like you that the ultimate disrespect whereas in the first game you saw occasionally they'd win the pick and roll they'd go for the three uh, more often than not but they were more than happy to get a james harden layup in the paint in a spin move to create even more havoc they started things out making sure there was room a question a thought in the head of okay what are they gonna do here and then by the end of it the three ball was winning the day throughout it was inevitable it felt like and honestly i i did say i wanted to see adjustments on both ends considering how close game one was 
Uh, I, I I love close games as a caster and anyone as spectator of the sport. I love close games. It reminds me of uh, KU's Mario. Uh, Mario, I think that one of one of their uh, one of their finals actually went the distance. It's a beautiful picture out there. I got to remember, man. My brain does not want to work. But came uh, down to the wire. Two yeah. seconds left. Game two, though. Anyone that's playing on that stage wants a much larger gap. You do not want to have your heart racing in 10 seconds left on the court, so well done to service. Very much so. Uh, one more shout out, by the way, to the coaches. Aubrey White for Bob Jones High School, Eric Chamberlain, Russell County High School. Uh, both of you, a fantastic season. Congratulations to you. Congratulations to the students. But congratulations to the ultimate winner, the state champion, Bob Jones High School, and Chad. Oh, oh, service with that victory. We have our winners in the chat for the NBA 2K24 Black Mama Edition code. So you want to check your DMs, check your whispers. It's Scramble Jitsu and Detroit Bullen. Congratulations. You are our final winners of the night. And I'm thankful that we got the chance to cover Scholastic Esports at its finest orbital. Like, you, you don't get too many opportunities like this. I know when I was a kid, I didn't have opportunities like this. So it's a joy to be able to bring it to you. Mm -hmm. and, and it's a joy to be also having a lot of people come in and watch. It's something that I think for high school is all the same. You want to have eyes on you for future prospects as well. The players played extremely well and, you know, a lot of respect for making their way through the bracket. So to all the viewers as well, we want to say a hearty thank you. Absolutely, though. Thank you to all who were involved tonight, whether you're an administrator, whether you are a viewer, whether you are in the back end of production. We have our guy Blasky back there. He's been fantastic all night long. Are the administrators who have been on the floor making everything possible. We thank you for watching tonight's presentation of the Alabama High School Athletics Association, the state championship of NBA 2 wonderful night and you know maybe get a couple reps in shoot a little hoops uh, pass it to the next in shoot a little hoops uh, pass it to the next man though